Yeah, this is round two or three for Nebraska Mule Deer. Last year we went out here twice and didn't get one, so hopefully we can fill both of our tags. We're leaving. We are headed up to another ranch. Just pulled up to the house. And there's already a shooter right here. That's a good sign. I spotted some deer coming off the alfalfa. There was a buck with some does. But we're gonna go down there and get a closer look. Try and find him in there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Sorry, Drew, the, the mic's dead. Now we have audio! <laughs> Let there be light. Sound is such an amazing thing. Recap. We packed the truck. We tried to open or close the bed cover. It broke and snapped. So we had to take it apart, put it back together. Then we left like a little bit late. Brian's stomach's turning. He's, he's nervous. Not really. But we're gonna catch him because he has to stop and go to the bathroom every 15 minutes. So. Yeah, this is like uh, deja vu of last year. I swear when we were on our way up here, he was like, oh man, my stomach's rolling. I had to pull over multiple times. I'm pretty sure he, he told us that. I feel like I remember that. And uh, I think we were kind of waiting on him once. I don't know. Yeah, we were because we got like Subway or something. And yeah, I think so. We were waiting at that gas station. So we'll probably catch him, but yeah, this is round two from round two or three from Nebraska Mule Deer. Last year we went out here twice and didn't get one, so hopefully we can fill both of our tags. Made it. What's up? Heartland Pride boys know how to bring success. They've got the Pop Tarts and Fruit Smiles. Oh my gosh. That's success in one frame right there. Where are their apples at? Mm. I need the healthy snacks. This is all that matters. Yeah, good shot. These two things are all that matters. You can, you can kill a deer off of Pop Tarts and Fruit Snacks. Have to. Have to what? You know. You know what? Nature's calling. Nature's calling. Yeah. Sean's been farting all morning. Now he's got to poop. Way to blame it on me. <laughs> Brian went with Cody over the hill to go after an older buck. We're just gonna hike up onto this this hill right here and do some glassing first day out here in western Nebraska. up the hill but we were a little too late we watched the does go over the hill to bed but never saw any bucks if we would have gotten in here a little bit earlier probably would have found some bucks but we were over there looking checking all the alfalfa pivots and I'm sure these bucks that were back in the hills were already to bed by the time we got here so kind of a slow first morning 
Just getting started though. Yeah, but you see these fortune cookies? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's what that's why I'm filming You're here. You're filming me. You're making me ruin my lunch. No, I'm not. You're not supposed to have dessert before. It's not dessert. Oh. Good things come to those who wait. Be patient. Sure that wasn't mine? No. <laughs> That, this is for all of us. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, it, all right, here we go. No, I'll break it inside the package. Maybe. That's yeah. a smart idea. That's a good time. Is that how you're supposed to do it? I don't know. Just try and create less of a mess. Okay. No ticket? <laughs> Wait, is this yours? Yeah, that's yours. Oh, no. All right, Brian, <laughs> you're our last hope. Uh, Open your cookie. Okay. Uh-oh. How does that even happen? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is good. You can make Maybe it. You awesome. can make your own. Exactly. What's it Health say? and happiness are coming your way. Health and happiness are coming your way? You can't go wrong with that. Oh. Well, we got two good ones. One blank. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hit my boots on. That can only mean one thing. It can mean a lot of things since I didn't have a fortune. Oh. <laughs> Folks at home? Folks at home. Eating like good luck. Oh, yeah. Not me. You want a bite? Nope. Okay. You sure? Not there yet. You would think we're in Wyoming or maybe the Black Hills of South Dakota or the Badlands or something like that. It's crazy. Super awesome terrain, really rock, like not rocky, but rolling hills with pines, obviously. And looked awesome, just didn't see much deer sign. Found some human sign, found a monster can, but I don't think anybody's been in here for a while. There's no water that we've found and I'm not really sure what a food source would be, so I just don't think there's a lot of deer. Cool country, fun hike, awesome scenery, but no luck on the, the deer sightings or uh, spotting, so we'll move on. Sean? We're leaving. We are headed up to another ranch. Um, it's a ranch, familiar ranch, not necessarily for me, but for Mike. Mike hunted there last year and had a fun hunt. There's mule deer on this ranch and whitetails. Um, way north of here, really close to South Dakota, and the best part about it is I have a South Dakota tag, so it's only like 13 miles from the border. We can hunt both states. Um, 
and my tag in each state is good for either species, so whitetails or mule deer, and um, yeah. So Mike's early season hunt from last year was on this ranch. Looks like a cool spot, I'm excited. There's whitetail, mule deer, mountain lions, and uh, elk on there, along with uh, bighorn sheep, so it's gonna be fun. It's uh, definitely gonna be a little bit of a change up, so looking forward to getting up there and scouting before it gets dark this afternoon, this evening. Two miles. We've arrived. This place looks familiar from the videos. It's nice to actually be here in person. Shooter spotted. Really? Are you sure? Already? Are you sure? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, I see him. He does look nice. It's a nice buck. Spot and stock time shot. There's a bunch more white tails. Spot and stock. Let's get him. Oh, there's another nice buck. Really? I think. It's hard to say. Let's unload. <laughs> Spot and stock. We just pulled up to the house and there's already a shooter right here. That's a good sign. <laughs> it's the first shooter we've seen in four, well, the whole time we've been here, which is around like day three or four, so. <sighs> That's a comforting feeling. Got a game plan for this afternoon. We went into some very deep thought and we came up with this plan by realizing that, hey, don't overthink it. The deer are coming out right next to the house. So we're in the front yard and we're gonna hang this tree stand probably like 70 yards from the house. All these deer have been filtering out right here, right by the house last night when we pulled in there was probably like a 140 inch deer right out here out front and all these other deer were filtering through so we think he came from out of here because there's horses over here in this pasture there's no livestock or anything in this little block of timber right here when we were scouting this morning we watched deer go back in there so gonna give it a shot we're hunting a gigantic ranch i don't even know how many thousands of acres it is and we're gonna be hunting basically right in the front yard goes as smoothly as you wanted to, but the important part is the stand is on. And I have a slight bit of hope. It's just crazy. We can't get very high up. There's a big hill right here, or like levee. So the deer are kind of gonna be like eye level. The tree wasn't straight and it's really thick, but those are all the cons. We only really need one pro, and the pro that we need is the deer, the big buck to come in range. So maybe that'll happen tonight.
kind of different. We're only, I don't know, can't really range the house from here, but probably 100 yards from the house. We're on a ranch that's thousands of acres. And our first spot seemed to be, I think, a good idea because we've already had deer come through. We got six deer out here in the field. There's water right up here. There's a pond maybe 100 yards away, and we're right in between there and the pond. The deer filter through here. They probably go to the water, I'm sure, but we really couldn't get any closer. And then there's a road on the other side, so they just filter right through here. We saw a buck right out here from the house when we pulled in last night. That was pretty good that I had to shoot, so. Seems like a good idea. It'll be an exciting first sit. First time we've been in a tree in Nebraska. Above the uh, alfalfa pivot that we went to yesterday, checked the camera and there was actually two shooter muleys on, on Cody's camera, which is great news. So we came up here on this hillside and started glassing as the sun was coming up. And right after we got here, I spotted some deer coming off the alfalfa. They were already off, but they were like trotting and kind of running around in circles. Just, I don't know, they weren't spooked or anything. They were just, it was almost like they were playing, but there was a buck with some does. I never could get a great look at him because he kept coming up on the hills and then he dropped down on the dips and he looked good. I can't 100% shade, 100% say if he's a shooter or not, but we're gonna go down there and get a closer look, try and find him in there. They went into the cuts and we can't see him from here, so. I'm gonna head that way and start looking for him. There he is. That's not the big one. Nah, he's narrow. He must have heard us. <clears throat> It's not the big deer that we that we have on camera. He's a he's a good buck, just not the big one. The two big ones. I had a feeling too when we were coming in here, like because we never could get a good eye on him this morning. If uh, if if he was very big, it's about what I had in mind. Just a good, decent, solid buck, just not not one of the big two that we. We've seen over there on the trail camera. We should be able to find that deer again too at some point. He's not very spooked. There goes some doves. Kind of trucking out of there. There goes 
has all the doves. I'm looking at the photos now from this morning. And the buck that was at the trail camera that we checked this morning is not this deer. He's actually bigger than this one. But this is the buck that was with the three by four that I thought was not him. So we got pictures a couple days ago on the water. And I didn't think it was this deer just a minute ago, but after looking back at it, it is. It's the deer that was there the other day. I just didn't realize he was that narrow. And when he was looking at me narrow, like head on, he looked younger, but I don't know, in these trail camera photos, it's very deceiving. He looks, he looks fully mature, so. Looking at the trail camera photos, I'd shoot him. Looking at him in person, I was thinking different, but regardless, it didn't matter, he was onto us, and I still think he was out of range. He was probably like 70 or 80, so. He's not spooked bad. He went up there and we saw him kind of trotting around, probably 500 yards away, so. He's going further into the ranch. We'll probably run into him again, hopefully. That would have been a tough one, real tough one. Wouldn't have been able to come over the top of him. Wouldn't have had to come from the side. Probably not that side. Yeah, that would have been really, really, really tough. And we didn't know where he was at. We had no idea. We knew he was in this area, but we didn't know where he was bedded, and so we were still trying to find him. And now that I look at it, the sun may have been hitting him and he may have just stood up to go find another bed. And when he stood up, he saw me because we were just right there on the horizon. And Man, always a learning experience. And I feel like we go on far more stalks that are unsuccessful than they are successful, but still fun. Always learning how these crazy mule deer uh, bed and the certain areas that they live in, it's just... It's, a, it's amazing and it's, it's definitely not as easy as you always think it is.